and all of a sudden my hairstylist was like, hey, did you know that there used to be a mortuary right behind this complex? I had a really weird experience with a headless man. It's like she's replaying the last night of her life. Body. That just said body. What the f was that? The thing just started going crazy. Mm -hmm. It just said something about a body being drained. Before we get into this video, I have a huge announcement. My team and I have been working on some awesome new projects and I'm so excited to say that the new exclusive Third Eye hoodies are now available for pre-order. Just look how cool they are. The front is an art piece hand drawn by me and we got together with a team of designers to make the hoodies even cooler. The back is my favorite manifestation quote, what I seek seeks me. Go pre-order your exclusive hoodies right now before they sell out. The link is in the description and pinned in the comments section. I am so grateful for your continuous support and I can't wait to share everything that's coming out this year. Hey Kel Cats, what? Well, oh. Okay, they want to introduce themselves first. Hey Kel Cats, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kelsey Davies. Today I'm going to be asking the spirits in my apartment about a mortuary that used to be behind this apartment complex. So I had a really weird experience with a headless man. There was a ghost and he didn't have a head. I don't know why he showed himself like that. It wasn't graphic or anything. It just literally was like his shirt and he had had no head. He seemed like he was looking for something. I didn't really connect with him because he kind of scared me to be honest. I think that's pretty valid. But it was so weird because the next day after I had seen him, I went down to the hair salon at my apartment complex and all of a sudden my hairstylist, she was like, hey, did you know that there used to be a mortuary right behind this complex? It was just so weird. I don't really believe in coincidences. I feel like things just happen and maybe this man was from the mortuary and it just, I don't know. But I wanna ask the spirits in my apartment. I'm here with Lola, my haunted doll, as well as Emil, or um, we have a nickname, Santo. I think he likes Emil better. I keep calling him Santo though. If you guys want to use the Spirit Box app, the link is down below in the description. Just be safe while you're using it. Lola, do you know that there used to be a mortuary behind this apartment complex? She knows. Do you know what year it was here? Are there a lot of spirits here from that mortuary? Yes. That would explain why this complex is so haunted. There was also catacombs. There's a train station where people have died. This place is just loaded. Who was the headless man that I saw? Yeah, his name. Do you know what happened to his head? Yes, she does. I keep hearing hunter. Is the headless man's name hunter? Or was he a hunter? Is that how he lost his head? How many spirits or entities you think come here from the mortuary? How many of you are here right now? I heard five. Can you say your names? Whoa. I'm calling out to spirits who want to come forward. I don't want anything negative coming in. If there's anyone from the mortuary that wants to come by, maybe the headless man, I don't know. <laughs> sorry, sorry. There's actually quite a few spirits here right now. I was doing a session before this that I put on my shorts and TikTok and all that. Can you tell me who is here with us? Us. Us. I know that you guys are. Can you say your name? My name is Kelsey. All dead. 
I keep seeing a woman in like um, a fur coat. It's kind of like a light, maybe a pink. Who is the woman that I keep seeing? Can you point to where you are right now? I keep seeing her at like a bar or something. I don't know what she's trying to show me. Was that the night that you passed? It's like she went to the bar for a drink or something and then maybe that was her last night. I'm not sure how she passed. Was it something with your heart? Something. Yeah. Did you have a heart attack after? I'm wondering because there's a bar built right where the mortuary was. So I'm wondering if she's from that bar. I heard yes. Came late. It's like she's replaying the last night of her life. I'm wondering if she's showing me the bar like that's her last night she went to this bar or if she's showing me what it now is and that's what she where she resides. I'm really confused on that part. When you passed, were you put in the mortuary that used to be at that bar? No. Okay. So she's just referring to the actual bar now. Thank you for sharing that with me. Is there anyone here that their body was in the mortuary? That's weird. It's pointing this way and the mortuary is... Oh. <laughs> the mortuary is back that way. Is there anyone here who was in that mortuary? Yes. Yeah. There's someone behind me and I keep hearing them. Is the man here that has no head? Yes. Lola, can you tell me what he's looking for? Or ask him if you can? Whoa, it said no, but that said yes. Yes, for the man with no head. Ah! <laughs> that scared me. Oh my God, it said Andrew and the Drew's name is Andrew. Okay, wait. Hi. Hi. I'm just talking to dead people, don't mind me. Of course you are. <laughs> it said Andrew. Do you have any questions for them? You know who's here? The man with no head. Uh, as I'm talking about him, my head like started hurting. How did he get beheaded or lose his head? Does anyone know? I heard cord or something, but that one I don't understand. Heard head. Is that what he's looking for? Is his head? I'm guessing he was put in the mortuary, but maybe they couldn't find the rest of him, or I, I don't know. Does he want to speak? Or can he speak? No. Maybe he's not able to because he doesn't have. I don't know how that works. Do you think we'll get more spirits if we go over to the mortuary? or the previous mortuary. Should we go over there? Um, Heard something about finding out. What am I gonna find out? All right, let's go over to the mortuary. farted and it smelled like death. It smelled so it bad. rotted into the elevator. <laughs> literally Even I brought it in. I smelled it first and I was like, dude, that's bad. It said many spirits as we started walking up. Oh, I just got this app. It's called the Necrometer. If you guys want it, the link is in the description for. I haven't used it yet, so this is my first time. So far, I like it. It's really interesting. Undocumented death. 
What? Yes. It's now a bar and grill, but this used to be the mortuary. Oh my god, I just saw something. I literally just saw a shadow person walk into that was so weird. I thought someone was coming. I just saw a shadow person like walk this way. But this whole, like it used to be a church. The mortuary was over there. It was right here. Billy. Billy. What if the shadow person was Billy? What was that? And these like little faces up there. You see, they're kind of, it looks like they're looking down on us. Oh, there's a cop? Yeah. Gregory. <gasps> Sin. Gregory Sin. Mark. What? It's saying Gregory sinned and that he was marked? What was he marked by? This is so weird. Not so. Why do I keep seeing people? Like, I keep literally seeing people. And then I think someone's coming and then no one's there. Am I seeing any of you? And then it just goes silent. That's so weird. What? I was trying to figure out what that was. It was a curtain. Both of us. Both of us. Did she see both of you? I'm gonna try this thing. It's like speech. So it's Siri. Whoa. Can you speak and show us how this works? There's two. It hmm? just said there's two. Really? Yeah. What are your names? <gasps> there's another cop. Cops. There's two cops. Here's all paranoid. Well, no, it said there's two. There's oh. two cops. I heard something about a body being drained, and don't they do that when they embalm the bodies and get them ready? Mm -hmm. It just said something about a body being drained. What? Can you tell me what else happened here? <laughs> what that said. That's what they did here, right? That's like what a mortuary is? Yes. Basically where they inspect the bodies. And like get it ready for the funeral and get it, you know. Yeah, there's different types of mortuaries though. But this one I think was one of those. This was old. Lola said it was built in the 1920s. A lot of the buildings around here are really old too. Old, yeah. Body. That just said body. Holy crap. Are there bodies still around here? Ooh, no. Then maybe this is the two you saw. Because I saw someone there, then I saw someone coming across. What did you say? I don't know. This app's like so creepy, but it's actually. It reminds me of Mars Attacks. <laughs> it does, like an alien. <laughs> yeah. But it's saying things that add up to this place. Yeah. So that's like what's tripping me out you're right <gasps> whoa what? I just saw someone a little girl standing right here she was like this tall and she had red hair I'm gonna use um the spirit box I'm better at hearing this one because I'm used to it. The link to this spirit box app is also down below in the description. Just be safe while you're using it. What? I put it right where the little girl was. It might be calibrating, but the temperature is going off. See the temperature? Mm -hmm. It doesn't do that when it's calibrating. Who's the little girl with the red hair that I just saw? Oh, cop. Excuse the helicopter. They're gonna get us! Oh no! They're gonna get us! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you're gonna have to repeat all that. Were you placed in this mortuary? Why'd you show yourself to me? 
Did you mean to? Or no. Are you surprised that I could see you? Uh, yes. Or yes. Yeah. Sometimes they're like surprised that I see them. Oh, look. How many spirits are here? She's like excited about that. I think there's a lot around here, this whole area. Yeah, I see. Do you know who the headless man is that I saw? Oh my god, look. After I asked him the headless man, that thing just started going crazy. Mm -hmm. Did he get hit by a car by chance? You see me. Like going nuts. It's going nuts. I wonder if they're trying to tell us something. I went to a lot of funerals growing up, unfortunately, so I was always just kind of surrounded Mary. by death. Mary. Mary. They would be at their funerals most of the time. I would feel them and see them there, and I was confused as a child as to why they were there, you know, in the casket, but then they were in the audience, like, of their funeral. So that's something, too, about you know, churches and mortuaries as they come back and maybe they feel lost or confused and see their, their bodies there lying there. Could you imagine that though? Especially if you weren't ready to die, like seeing your body just laying there. Tap. Whoa, what the fuck did I just see? Ew, babe, I don't know what that was. What? That was like, not normal. What'd you see? Dude, what the? It was not human. It was like not normal. Hold on, I need to process this for a second. Well, you shit. saw a bug for a second. Did you just hear footsteps right here? Down there. I just heard footsteps right yeah, here. Yeah, I heard feet shuffling down there. I wish I could draw out what I just saw because what the fuck was that? I it was like right behind you though, like right next Ew. to you. It looked like, I'll try to draw it out, but it looked like, um, it, it wasn't like doing anything. It was just kind of standing there, but it looked like it didn't have a face. It was just this lungs. lungs. It looked like this blob with like arms that had sharp, like, it just did not look right. It didn't look good. Ew, why is it behind me? Okay, that's when I know it's time to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it looked like, so see this thing right here? See how it's round like that? Mm -hmm. So it was round and then it had like arms, like it looked like a cartoon character. It had like arms coming down that were kind of dragging, but it was like round like that and it didn't have a face. It was just like a blob of like dark. It was Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> it kind of looked like <laughs> Humpty Dumpty, but like dark shadow looking with, it didn't have any eyes or anything. Why was it hanging out behind I me? I don't know. That's why I'm like, maybe we should mm. stop. I don't like that. I didn't like that either. That's another thing about this area. Whenever I walk, I have to park far away from our apartment complex. I have to walk to our apartment. And there was that one time when I saw that entity looking thing ran behind my car. I called Drew because I thought that someone was trying to hide and like sneak attack me. I don't know, I was freaked out by it. So I called Drew and I always see dark just entity things running around here. There's a lot of dark things around here that I get really nervous about. So that just confirmed it for me. I think that thing was trying to attach to Drew. No. Calling out to our guides. Nothing's allowed to follow us home. Yep, nothing is allowed near us. Not even allowed to look at us. I will send my spirit guides to... It was like that. It was right here next to you. How big? How tall was it? It was only like this tall. No. <laughs> Our energy's off limits. No Humpty Dumpty. We're not putting you back together again. <laughs> Y'all, I tried to draw it. It literally was like this. But it was all like black. Completely black. So it didn't look like it from Adam's family. No. Well, that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want me to go back there. I'm trying to email the owners to see if they'll let me in. Haven't answered yet, though, so I don't, I don't know if they will. And don't forget to go pre-order your hoodies. Woo! If you guys get the...
If you guys do go pre-order them, make sure you let me know and tag me, and I can't wait to see them on you. And I will be at VidCon this week, so I can't wait to meet you guys there. There is a paranormal panel happening this week with Selena Spooky Boo, Pete Montzingo, Sneak Snag, and me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.